Hello everybody, welcome back to the deck guide. Today we're taking a look at Skoyatal, a faction which probably still one of the weaker factions in the game, but um did try this out and <clears throat> still felt like probably one of the better ways to grind Skoyatal. I mean a lot of Skoyatal decks right now are tending to be more degenerate decks like traps, because there really is a whole lot you can do with Skoyatal, because unfortunately Skoyatal is quite weak. But they did buff Great Oak, which is a card which does fit quite nicely into this deck, which is gonna be a nature's gift deck. Um, so let's get through the deck guide and discuss what everything does. So if you want to play Square Tail, this does seem to be um, one of the better options. You do have Nature's Gift Leader Ability, which is actually quite a strong leader ability. One of the stronger ones is Square Tail overall. Um, this leader ability does give you um, three charges. Each charge will give an allied unit two vitality. Um, and you can use that with Hammer Dryads quite nicely. So we also have a Saskia Commander, which is going to be basically this deck's strongest card. It does want to be often played in round one, so if you do get red coin, I would slam this card in round one. On blue coin, it's a little bit not as obvious if you're going to play it or not, because it does feel a little bit bad to throw a 13 provision card on blue coin. But if you're on red coin, I would definitely play this in round one if you have any way to get it out, as it will thin your deck. Because what this card does, it is immune, which means it's very hard for your opponent to kill it. And it also has... Um, the ability to pull out every th um, three turns a allied unit, um, a bronze allied unit rather, should I say. So how it's going to work, it's going to pull out a, a card with a unique tag. So in other words, if there's no elves on the board, it'll pull out either an elf, a hammer dryad, or a cat witcher. Well, assuming there's none of those tags already on the board. Um, so be careful though, because obviously it won't pull out duplicates. If you play a hammer dryad or a dryad from your hand, it will no longer pull out any of the other dryads. So you kind of want to try if you can... Only play cards, types that are already on the board once Saskia is, is, um, has come down, if you can avoid it at all. Um, it won't always be possible, but try at least. But otherwise, this card's going to be able to pull out maybe two, three, maybe even four cards from your deck. And then I'll basically just overwhelm your opponent with engines, and this is going to make use of the the movement package so a lot of these these engines do kind of buff each other and keep them keep each other alive which is quite powerful great oak this card got a massive buff by the way it damage the enemy units by the number of the cards to the um to the left of great oak and then boosts up by the number of cards to the right of great oak so basically um you want to try full up a row and the cards that are going to be if you want to do four damage then make sure you put oak um with those four units next to him on the left and if you want to do six damage, then you want to put Oak where there's six units to the left. So it's very flexible damage. You can kind of choose exactly how much damage and how much boost you want Great Oak to receive. So it's very, very flexible in that regard. It's quite a powerful finisher. It is also, like I said, very flexible removal. You can kind of get as much damage as you need to just deal with whatever you want. And it's um, great with this deck having the ability to swarm the board so easily. You can get... A lot of units on the board very easily, so Great Oak will reliably play for quite a few points. Then Ethne, again, this is going to be a Nature's Gift deck, which means we're going to be playing a lot of special cards, a lot of nature cards, in fact. And then the word Symbiosis can be very valuable. I forgot to explain what Symbiosis is, by the way. Symbiosis, the tag, your leader ability also does have it, is every time you play a nature card, um, you are going to then get a trigger, which will spawn a Wandering Trend, which is a one-point token, and... For every symbiosis card you have, that token will be one more point. So if you have if you have two units of symbiosis, well, a unit plus your lead ability rather, then the trait will spawn at two points. If you have um, four symbiosis cards, obviously it'll be at four points and so on and so forth. Now, Ethne, which in her final form, she will have symbiosis and she'll spawn two young dryads, which are tokens that also have um, the symbiosis tags. So there'll be three symbiosis tags just from Ethne alone, plus your leader ability, which means you get four symbiosis tags, which will mean every time you play Nature's card, will get plus four points, which is very, very strong um, if you have a bunch of Nature cards to go with it. Similar, this is going to be able to play all copies of a bronze from your deck. You can play on Rebukes. You can specifically, the best thing to play on is Harvest, or Bounce or Harvest, if at all possible, but Rebuke is also okay. A Dryad's Crest could also be okay too. Um, just a very strong card in this deck. Also playing nature cards too. Forest Protector, play a bronze nature card from your graveyard. Again, you can use it on a Rebuke, you can use it on a Crest, you can use it on Tempering. Preferably on a Bountiful Harvest, or maybe even a Rebuke. But um, again, very flexible and very strong in Nature's Gift deck because it lets you just play more nature cards, which is very valuable. Then, Call of the Forest, play a Scoyotel from your deck and boost it by one. Again, it's here because it's got the nature tag. Um, and it's going to give you a bit of consistency on your Saskia and whatnot. Then we play Falv, play a nature card from your deck. Again, Falv can be used to tutor out any of the nature cards in this deck. So just nice um, 
<clears throat> this is a nice cheater for this deck and also just playing for good points. Then Gord, boost self by zero, increase the boost for one every special card in this that's been played this game. Now, this card cannot exceed 12 boosts, but it really will go that high. Usually, on my experience, Gord plays for like 12 or 13 points in this deck, which is still not bad for a certain provision card. Um, Bounce for Harvest, you're going to be able to play a Bronze Square to Elf, and then it's going to show you it's three of them randomly, and you're going to pick one you want. If you pick the one on the far right of the options you see, it'll boost the card on your far right by two. If you pick the one on the far left, it'll boost the card on the far left. And if you pick the one in the middle, it'll pick a random one in your hand. Now, do be careful with this card. It is quite awkward when you have Ethne in hand, because when you, Ethne is boosted, she loses that boost um, in your hand between rounds. So you may, in some situations, even mulligan away Ethne just to, just to be safe. But um, just be careful with Bountiful Harvest because you do not want to get boosts onto Ethne if at all possible. Runestone, we're literally just playing for the alchemy tag. I wanted something for the alchemy tag for Saskia. We needed that unique tag, so it's just there for that. Um, rebuke, damage enemy by 5, death blow, um, boost a random ally trend by 2. Now, we do have a bunch of wandering trends spawned from Symbiosis, so it should be very easy to get the death blow ability, or the death blow condition, rather. Then we play a one of double thunder sentry i would like to play um actually some some of the of the sources of double thunders but the problem is that i just don't have provisions for it so we're just playing a one of sentry for the elf tag and that's about and that's about it then for, well elf, elf tag for bronzes for sas specifically hammer dried also a symbiosis tag at the end of your turn if this unit has vitality boost self by one so basically double value from the vitality which means your leader ability is very nice to be played onto this this card hammer dried does get quite a lot of benefit from your leader ability then cat witcher this is going to be at the end of your turn move self to the other row damage ram enemy on that row by one and then it has Adrenaline 3, which will do increase damage to 2. So you can obviously pull this up with Saskia, the Witcher tag. So again, another unique category for Saskia to pull. Dryad's Crest, pure fun allied unit, boost salt by 3. If you control a Dryad, also give Vitality for 3 turns. And um, that's going to be to help you with statuses like locks, poisons, whatever. Um, tempering, boost an allied unit by 5. It's Dwarf, you at 5 armor. Making a bomb. This is again there for the unique ta tag of the bomb category. Moving an, an enemy unit to the another row and give it bleeding for four if it's this only unit on the row when it's moved then damage it by four instead uh, not really much i'll say about that one just there for the tag dryad matron another dryad every ally turn turn and move self to the right my spot in this row then boost an allied unit to the left of it by one so make sure you keep placing units to the far right of this row so this card can keep boosting it up if you have both of them in the row at the same time it's quite nice because then they boost each other passively um, without any input from your side then abandoned girl it's just there for the human tag basically and this is going to be another symbiosis card because if this card does survive a turn it's an order ability where you can transform it and it'll get vitality when it transforms equal to how many allied dryad units you have on this row which we do play quite a few and it also has a symbiosis tag once it's transformed to transform into a young dryad so it will have another symbiosis tag for us and it's basically there for um a saskia pool you want to be make sure you mulligan quite aggressive this deck you want to make sure that you keep your saskia um able to pull out like you need to mulligan with the sort the sentry you can you need to mulligan with the band girl you also need to have some dryads and a cat witch in the deck preferably and you also want to make sure that you try mulligan with bounce of harvest if uh, all possible so there are quite a few mulligans you need to do that's one of the tricky parts of this deck is actually trying to manage your mulligans and also get that thinning done before round three because once you do thin your deck the deck becomes very consistent it's just a matter of actually thinning this out in the earliest stages of the game anyway that is the deck guide now let's get some gameplay and see how we do Asking me for help. Some reason that's smart. Spirit, it's kind of weird. Dex huh. hand is a mess. Are you fucking kidding me? Catnip instead of crowns? Okay. Hmm. Ha ha.
I that don't want to spend perfect. my SAS gear on blue coin, especially the hand this awkward that makes it so hard for me to actually play the round out. When does the event start? I have no idea. Uh oh. Wind whistles, Willow's whip. Very bad heat waves, this should be somewhat safe ish, kind of, maybe, possibly, perhaps. Can we stop spamming all the poke emotes? Holy crap. Who put all these poke emotes in this chat? Is it Kiwi? Oh, God. Weird. Oh, my God. Mike, Mike. Oh. Can spars parapet lawn vort? The earth will flow with the blood of Enshe, the blood of elves. The new Jaskia skin that's quacking? Yep. Gwent. Oh, I've got the hearty hunkering for Gwent. Anyone have a hearty hunkering for Gwent? Aww. Not me. So lost his psych after playing Gwen six hours. Oh, that's long gone. My mind has long been lost. <laughs> Only one with no sense would trust the word of a. How <laughs> actually speaking. Put that on a mulligan. I mean, the hand's actually kind of good. Maybe I keep it in brick. Mile. Why are you installing this deck? Literally because of the word alchemy on it. Quite literally this word. Whack, whack. Ardently so. You couldn't have waited a bit? Get some setup? Really? Oh god. Oh lord. Wait, does he play? Oh my god, does he. Fuck's sake. If he actually plays Etra Malega, this is actually a pretty big high roll.
Tis my tree. I was born. And I shall die with it. Okay. So. Bonker. Trees live longer than humans. They need protection from them. Humans are scum. I prefer elves, dwarves, pixies, even. My folk have suffered much. The humans broke them. They look vigilant. Elders must put a stop to this rebellion, else they will face devastation. Oh fuck yes. <laughs> okay. That's actually quite a lot of points, holy shit. That's actually quite a few points. Uh, actually playing one of the few decks that can't answer this shit is kind of hilarious. Some lost gore, he slows go too. Oh, we know what our mulligans are. The quack sound, you tell me. Because I sure as hell don't know. Centuries, you behave like you were barely one. I'm fine. Is hiding a duck oh, under his bed. Who? A wee hunt. Danny Jagolas. If I'm to die, I'll do so sword in hand. So, 
We have to milk some milkmaids. Ah, this sheep tree. Any duckers in the chat? earlier. Cool. <laughs> Turns out this deck can beat other Squirtle decks. Nice. Very poggers. Eden Glana. Eden Dan Glana. All right. Where is my sussy here? Look, this hand is sussy. What is the word wording on counter? Man, this hand is bad. Hog. Look, free engine. Free engine plus two points. Nice. Kinda rude, not gonna lie. Any cuties? Nope, this is a cute unfriendly stream. No cuties here. A long road walk do we have. Ah, hmm. uh, this sheep tree. Ah. Make him bomb right. <laughs> Head. This is Alza, right? I guess we pass before we get the orb set up. He has lots of bricks. Hopefully. Bad. Uh, have you seen a fuse lying about? Have you? And very not good. Shit. At your age, at two centuries, you behave like you were barely one. His hand is sussier in this chat. I 
path over the earth by stars in the night sky is guided. Humans are scary. I prefer elves, dwarves. of shit. Come to me, little one. his hands Yourself. At least I top deck like God. Like, look at this. There's almost no bronze left in the deck to even top deck into. You must banish her. I see no other parts. I would set my apple, you'll not leave Dracula. So I have like 300,000 golds in the deck. I wouldn't mind drawing some of them, please. Nope. Not even really. That's one of them, yes. Now give me the other 10. Nope. Hold the line. Yeah, I work for the team. Better than working for you, guys. Oh, thank God. <sighs> Still a win, poggies. Press those vermin. Kind of insane. Honestly, I, I I would do this too. I I, I feel you. Pl play portal for some for some consistency. Play some consistency to thin out some more consistency cards over deck. Honestly, I would do the same. I would do the same. 
though trees live longer than humans, they need protection from them. I would unironically do the same if I could. No course, I said. Wanted the exercise, I said. It's crazy, but you know. Humans are scum. I prefer elves. Uh, at this point. Why not? Essential play Saskia? I can't. I have a brick Saskia right now. I have two cards that I can't pull with it. And I don't have one. Satisfaction! Now! Don't leave me here. Not alone. I'll beg you. I'm just gonna some nice double caress if I look so much. Surrender. To the dungeon with him. You are no lunatic of mine. Yeah, I work for the poor humans. Better than working for humans. Come down, 
now. The F there, oh, can we please actually, actually, no, you know what? I just need to draw one of these two cards. Can I just draw any one of them? Just pick one for me, game. Let me draw my cards for once in my pitiful life, please. One time, just let me draw one of these cards. Thank you. Fuck. It would have been the better way if it was the other way around, but I'll take it. For once, I actually drew my shit. Okay, well, I'm not sure I'm going to do about this. Just a bit of a problem. Crazy how much I'm, I'm thinning with this deck and still somehow missing cards so frequently. Yeah, bolt, I know. Actually, a little bit crazy. A lot. Chat, we actually drew cards. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Isn't that kind of cool? We drew cards and we win video game. It's almost as if there's a correlation between drawing your cards and winning at the video game. Kind of interesting. I'll play game more, 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 two of this, and then I'm gonna switch. Oh, no, no, you lost. Okay, can we please not have all the bricks? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah. Mm. Brick the dryads, nice. Though trees live longer than food, they need protection from them. Cut some lesson. There's no way cutting some lesson on it. Hey, your deck, you want me playing the specials from him? One top end goal in three games runs roughly uh -huh. one percent. I don't know if you thin this much. When you thin down to literally having one card left, it's really ridiculously low to miss a top end goal. I mean, to miss a card, a uh, specific card actually. It doesn't matter goal or not. It doesn't make a difference. Just specific card in general. It's so low. So we're just dumping some uh -huh. garbage, I guess. They play this and they pass. So he plays Sasuke on blue, which I guess is nice for me. Um, he thins his deck, then I don't, but there's no point in playing my Sasuke back here. So I guess I'm just passing. Hmm. 
Nope. Ye kind of. I've got two forced mulligans. One on this and one on a dryad. Okay, we don't have any bricks. We're missing a lot of golds. We don't have Mother bricks. Earth, I to my life. From you it came to you. No sense would trust the word of a Spit it out already. I don't have all day. I don't mind playing sim last year because it just frees up mulligans the next round, I guess. Thins the deck, which I want to do because there's quite a few golds I need. Askia, Oak, Eth, they're all pretty important for me. As do I. If I'm to die, I'll do so sword in hand. Mm. Act your age. At two centuries, you behave like you were barely one. If I make it to round three, I'm in a pretty good spot. I still Saskia and Great Oak, but kind of annoying. I didn't want to go Saskia now because if I play far one to Saskia, I've already lost my ult and my dry tag, which feels Ten too bad. Ikea. Ted Dayred is nigh. Okay, well, I have fast here. So, I don't know, draw Saskia, I guess, forehead. A bit late for Saskia, so I'm not going to play for that many points, but it's still worth quite a bit. Regardless. No. No. Yes. No gold, I guess. Uh. 
style. That's right. I like fighting with style. My old name. I don't remember. I don't huh. care. Who's that snipest? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Big is good. Cut the grid or I'll cut your door. Oh. oh, close. That was very close. Anyway, that is the deck guide. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, Square Tall. Right now, probably not the strongest faction in the game. Um, but it does seem like this is going to be one of the options of Square Tall if you at all want to play Square Tall this season. Um, I would definitely recommend giving this a go. Um, otherwise, there are a lot of stronger factions out there, I guess. Um, but if you do want to play Square Tile, still is able to, to you know, keep up every now and then. Um, just not quite as high tier as other factions are. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys again next time. And until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the patch. Let me know in the comment section below if you're enjoying it. How, what decks are you enjoying the most? And I'll, take, I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.